our big story at five. As suicide attempts on the Leo Frigo Bridge become a growing concern for some Brown County leaders, one Green Bay woman with an international message of hope is also fighting for a solution. NBC 26's Billy Wagness joins us live at 5 with more on the push to prevent more suicides on that bridge. The yeah, Raquel Project Semicolon founder Amy Bluell has been very open about her struggles with mental illness, so much so her message is connecting with hundreds of thousands of people from across the world. But now a problem with suicides in her own backyard has her speaking out. Since the nonprofit launched three years ago, Project Semicolon has fueled an international conversation about mental health awareness. Approximately um, one million people have the semicolon tattoo. Through this, we're starting a conversation that can't be stopped. But for founder Amy Bluell, it's a conversation taking her back home to Green Bay to the Leo Frigo Bridge. I knew it as Suicide Bridge. That's what it was introduced to me as. Bluell says it's an area people struggling with suicidal thoughts seem to be drawn to, a perception that needs to change. The last one definitely hit me hearing that it was a young 18-year-old girl clutching a teddy bear. She wasn't looking to take her life. She was looking to escape that pain. There's a phenomenon when it comes to people that are seeking to commit suicide looking for high bridges. A previous push for change led to signs being installed on the bridge with a phone number to a crisis center. The signs aren't enough. But Brown County Sheriff Sheriff's Captain Dan Sandberg says other solutions, like protective fencing, could interfere with bridge maintenance or snow removal. And that could end up creating more of a hazard, and we may end up causing injuries or deaths. And a $76 million net system like the Golden Gate Bridge uses could be unrealistic financially. We value every life. We really do. But then when you're with limited budgets, or if we even have any funds, we have to look for grants. We got to look for different ways to try and pay for this. Questions that will hopefully spur a solution. Now, Captain Sandberg says the County Traffic Safety Commission will meet again in July to brainstorm cost-effective ways to prevent suicides on the bridge. Public input is encouraged. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26.